Today, I'm going to show you the basics of setting up the WFA 400 HiFly Smart Streamer to the MA1240 Multi Zone Amplifier. Now, if you happen to have the MA1260 or any other multi zone amp, the setup is going to be relatively the same. I'm just going to use the MA1240 as the example. In a nutshell, the WFA400 is the hub for all your inputs. Whether they are USB, line in, Wi Fi, or LAN, the multi zone receiver can regulate them and send the signal to your amplifier. That's where the MA1240 comes in. This amplifier receives the input from the WFA400 and sends it right to the zones within your household. At some point, you'll need to connect all the speakers you have throughout your home via speaker wire to the speaker terminals here. Labeling them kitchen, living room, bathroom, and so on will help dramatically when wiring. Looking again at the WFA400, the front shows lights for source and power. The color of the LED will indicate what type of a source it's detecting for convenience sake. On the back, zone one shows your USB in as well as RCA inputs. This will be the first two options for your first source. If you wanna use Wi-Fi, Dayton Audio offers HiFly, an application and streaming service available on both iOS and Android to play audio and send it directly to the WFA 400 or other HiFly devices. The last option is LAN, which can be connected via this Ethernet port. From here, you can again use the HiFly app to play radio stations like Spotify right from the internet bypassing your mobile device. Keep in mind, you will still be able to control and distribute the music to all zones from your phone. Connecting the MA1240 is easy. The amplifier in this case does not have a coax or digital connection, so RCA out to the RCA in will be the way to go. Repeat these steps for each one of the four zones available from the WFA 400. Once everything is connected and powered up, use the HiFly app to connect to the WFA 400 and you are ready to go. Get ready to stream whenever and wherever you want thanks to Dayton Audio.